Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Guys, today I actually have some amazing news about Canada. If you're living here, or you're planning to travel here, or you have planning to move here, if you're employed or unemployed, guys, this video is beneficial for everyone because I have some really optimistic news for you guys that I really, really, really want to share with you. And it's not one of those where I'm going to say, well, I got six new immigration streams that are starting today. It's actually true, guys. <laughs> Seriously, guys, the six immigration streams I was mentioning before, well, they actually did start today. But you got to know one thing, guys, that the six immigration streams that have started today, Canada is already tweeting about it because people didn't realize one thing. And that thing is that you actually need to have a job offer and you need to be in order to be eligible for the new pathway. Let me pull over. I'm going to pull my cell phone out of my pocket and I'm going to show you something. So let's check this out, guys. I'm going to pull over to this random place. Check this out. Check out the Twitter. I want to show you something. Here you go. So, see what it says? It says, in order to be eligible for a new pathway, you must be employed in Canada at the time of application for permanent residency is received. So, let's click on this. Which program they're talking about? Yeah, and this is the program, guys. This is the program. Temporary public policy, temporary resident to permanent residency. See, basically, this is the six programs that I was mentioning. See, if you click on work health or, you know, non-health or international students, that's what they're talking about, guys. See, be in Canada, have valid status, plan to live outside, have received graduate, not be refugee claimant and blah, blah, blah. So, I guess Canada didn't do a good job explaining to what they were trying to say in this program. That's why they have to keep on replying to people who are watching my channel and other channels and applying for these jobs. So, guys, I also wanted to share with you that I'm number 45,000. Okay, no, now it's... 44,944. Uh, 44. Look at this. My line is moving. I used to be at about 55,000 people ahead of me. Now it's only 44,000. So we are 10,000 down the road. Guys, this is the loading line when I'm going to be booking my appointment for vaccination. Guys, this is amazing. So for people who didn't know, in Alberta here right now, Today, starting today, we are starting vaccinations for anyone who is older than 30 years of age. And luckily, I'm proud to be oldest at this point of life to finally get my vaccination done. So, guys, what I want to say to you is that we are all going to be vaccinated. We are all going to be reopening borders soon. And, well, actually, Justin Trudeau, spoke about it he was saying that borders might open in june so right now people who are older than 30 years of age can get their appointment done for vaccination and if you are younger than 30 years of age you'll be able to book in alberta here on monday so what it means for for everyone guys is that number one there will be more jobs in canada Number two, the borders are going to reopen and I'm finally going to be able to travel to the countries that I wanted to travel, hopefully. You know, because I'm being stuck in Canada as everyone else of you guys who is even stuck outside of Canada. And the other good news about it is immigration. They are going to, we are going to reopen borders like that soon. So here is the news because guys, like some people are thinking on this channel, I make up things, okay? I had people who are like, no, that's not true. You know, this guy is not covering his facts because, well, you know, it cannot be like that. Especially people who are like, some people who are in Canada and, you know, there's so much of, you know, hatred towards towards immigrants. Well, there is like a really small amount of those people. But you see them on this YouTube channel as well. They're like, no, that's not true. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. That is not true. Like, what is this not true? You know, some people don't know how to Google things that I'm saying. So I'm going to show you. PM Trudeau, hopefully, he'll be able to travel internationally for G7 in June. So, Ottawa, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he says he is 
hopefully that we will be able to travel internationally come June. He can attend G7 Leaders Summit in the UK. I certainly hope that we will be able to attend in person. I know there are continuing and you know continuing to be restrictions and concerns, but we get closer to June. Hopefully, it will become clear that I'll, we will be able to att see attend in person. Through told reporters on Tuesday, which is two days ago. So right now they're talking about the 14 days quarantine, okay, you know, blah, 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 all the things, guys, you can read on yourself. But the fact is that well, I'm, I'm getting my 43,000 people in front of me. So we are all getting vaccinated. Guys, there are six immigration programs that started today. Good news, it started. Bad news is that you need to be, as, as I read for you guys on the Twitter, you need to be you know here and all of these kind of things then what it means for for people who are not in Canada it means that I was wrong and I'm finally happy to tell you guys how I was wrong because I said FSW might not happen this year okay guys that's what I said but now when everyone is getting vaccinated it means that there is a higher chance that by the way check this out this camper over here that's how people go hiking and you know they travel here in Canada this is how people live just walk around this is the houses people live in by the way guys it means that borders are going to be reopening there will be FSW draw most likely this year closer to the end of the summer that's my new optimistic forecast based on the news that are happening so I hope I was wrong that there will be no uh, FSW draws because it looks like there will be FSW draws here in Canada. Guys, you know why I drive around these neighborhoods like this? I just want you guys to see the houses and just, you know, get familiarized on how residential areas here in Canada look, how people live, how they put see, a yellow bicycle over there as a decoration, how houses, see there's sold it says, how houses get sold and everything. I'm still in the process guys of getting my real estate license because of COVID everything is slow. I'm waiting for my license, I'm waiting so I can, I can join the brokerage for my fingerprints and I'm going to be creating a lot of content not only related to immigration or state estate in Canada I'll be making content about business I'm gonna be making content about real estate some things that would help you settle in Canada there is a bunch of topics that I want to cover with you but I'm not allowed to talk about them without a license you know because I am I cannot call myself a real estate agent until I get the license unless I want to lose the license once I get it so that's why I cannot cover certain topics and I want to thank everyone who is really patiently waiting for those topics to come out because guys I am I am so impatient I really want to cover a lot of topics for you guys to help you settle in this beautiful country and help you with the news and everything I wish I could speak more about immigration too guys I cannot because that's you know there's two things you also need a license for immigration to cover certain things so guys i'm not a licensed immigration consultant you know and i'm getting my immig uh, consultant and i'm getting my real estate license instead right now so we'll see how it goes and guys i hope i brought you some really good news i hope you have not given up on this beautiful country because apparently everything is going to be really good Everything is getting way better and we'll see you guys in this beautiful country in Canada Hopefully closer to the end of this year. Hopefully by the end of the summer guys those of you who are not here Hopefully you guys will see you here Bye for now and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already